Welcome back guys. In the previous video we have discussed about geometry and title. Today we learn about how to display your text and text boxes with backgrounds, colors, boundaries etc. Let's begin. Before that I would like to tell you something called root dot min size. This is the minimum size of your window it will require. So I can say 200 by 200. Okay. Now if I run my file the window will open at a size of 300 into 300. But I can resize it up to a level at minimum of 200 into 200. That means the window cannot become smaller than 200 into 200. Now if I drag it from here, it will go up to a point. But after that it won't get smaller because the minimum size is 200 by 200 pixels. Similar goes for the max size. Now for example, I say make I make the max size at so the window will open at the normal 300 by 300 pixels but the maximum to which it can be resized will be only 500 by 500 so after this it doesn't resize itself more and in this also it is a limited window size so that's about the min size and max size so now we'll discuss about displaying your text so to display your text you have to use a concept called labels a label is something you stick on something right when you are you stick the text boxes you stick the display onto the window that's how the function goes to create a label what you have to do is you have to make a variable label one equals to you have to type label that is the class then here you have to type the label is in the root because because our window is in the root equals to tk class so label is inside the root then i can say text equals this is a label okay and i'm gonna close it how to display the label in gui to display any widget or an element like label for example you have to use dot pack then only it will be coming onto your gui window you can see it shows our text here that this is a label so when i pack it only then it will give me the output that this is a label right here so now i'll show you the more options which you can customize your text and labels i can add here fg or the foreground equals to let's say blue then i can add bg then i can make it equal to for example say now if i run the file the labels color is changing right here it's blue and black as you have specified now there are many more options which i'll discuss through then the next option is something called pad x equals to let's say 50 and pad y equals to again let's say 50 now let's run the file and check now you will see some noticeable differences in the shape of the text box or the shape of the label, uh, label. This is the padding. You are given the pad x at 50 pixels from the top and you are given the pad y also 50 pixels from the top. So this is the space of 50, 50 from right here. That is called padding. Now we learn about the boundaries or the edges. So for that there is a parameter called relief. In GUI the boundaries are known by relief. So I can say relief equals to there are few different types of reliefs which you can search yourself as a project so one of them is solid so now i'm just gonna run the file again so the solid is the boundary that comes out on outer side of the label and it is not much easily visible for that to make it visible we have to add something called border width border width equals to let's say 25 now let's try running the file so you can see the solid border is also black in color that's why it merges with the label black color now i'll show you the other type of boundaries for a label so that we can say relief equals to ridge is another type of a uh, boundary so can you see this relief equals to ridge in this you get a like a frame like effect for your text box so basically you get like a frame like effect for your label or for your gui so there are many more like this and you can customize it according to your wish so you can go through the website and you can understand and learn about the different types of pack attributes for the labels in GUI. And that's it guys for this video. It was about labels and text boxes in GUI. And I'll see you in the next video with more amazing stuff. Till then, bye.